First off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Hebrew, it's called Hello Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rahach Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity and peace, blessings and healings on to the elect, because that's why we do these videos. And uh, today, man, I want to talk about this. It says, um, DHS says online, misinformation is a terror threat. Okay, so let's get into this and then I'm going to get into the scriptures, you know, because, you know, this is prophecy that they would do this, you know, and they're going to come down with great wrath upon the people, you know, eventually. But it says, in the latest terrorism threat bulletin, the Department of Homeland Security labeled online misinformation a terror threat. The bulletin warned about the proliferation of false or misleading narratives. And this is subjective, you know, to people who's in power, you know, and they declare what's right and what's wrong. You know, but it's subjective. It says, which sow discord or undermine public trust in U.S. government institutions. And um, Yahab Basham is doing this, man. You know, because what did Yahab Basham say he would do in the last days? Bring division. This is Luke chapter 12, verse 51. And Yahab Basham said this out of his own mouth, who y'all ignorantly call Jesus Christ. It says, suppose ye that I come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. So Yahab Basham is doing this. It says, for henceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. The father shall be shall be divided against the son, the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And you're seeing this now with the mandates and, you know, you got some family members that's for it, some family members that's against it, but this is happening not on the household level, not only on the household level, this is happening on a local level, government level, state level, you know, all over the place. So you have us in the shot, it's keeping, it's kept his word in. This is what's happening today. It says, um, the DHS further stated that there was an online environment filled with false or misleading narratives and conspiracy theories and other forms of mis, dis, and mal information introduced and or amplified by foreign and domestic threat actors. Foreign and domestic, that's why they had this Russia gate. You know what I'm saying? Now domestic, you know, domestic, that's basically in America, you know, um, you know, people telling the truth. They don't like it. These threat actors seek to exacerbate social friction to sow discord and undermine public trust in government institutions to encourage unrest. You know, Yahab Basham is going to bring all this division, then it's eventually going to lead up to unrest. So let me get a couple of those scriptures. I'm going to start off with, um, you know, Isaiah 19. It says, the burden of Egypt, behold, Yahweh Basham shall ride up upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst thereof. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Okay, this is talking about Babylon the Great. This is talking about America in the last days. Okay, the, the diversion daughter of Babylon, Mystery Babylon, which is America. And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. See how it starts on the household level, then the cities, then all the way to the state level, to the kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. So, you know, this um, covering that America had on people's eyes, the wool they put over people's eyes is being washed away. And everything is being brought to the forefront. You know, this place is wicked. So people are starting to wake up. Okay, and waking up is basically an act of war because once you start, you know, noticing things and start seeing things for what it really is, you know, people are not going to trust in the government because they think they're satanic blood drinkers, okay? Point blank, period. <laughs> and they shall seek the idols and their charmers and them that have familiar spirits into the wizards. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord, Biden. And the fierce king shall rule over them, say if you have us from Messiah, you have us from Messiah post. So, you know, it's just prophecy that this would happen. And it says they would not trust their government. So this is second Ezra chapter fifteen. This is what it's eventually going to come down to. This is prophecy. It says, Woe to the world and then that dwell therein, 
For the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. The modern day sword is the modern day, you know, this modern day sword is the gun. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, so not listening to the government. And this is exactly what they're saying, because they're saying of misinformation. I would say because the truth is being declared all over the earth. You know, but they call it misinformation. It says, um, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So the people are trying to take the power back into their own hands. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Martial law is going to be declared. Okay, so those are just prophecies, man, that's coming to pass before your eyes. You know, let's get another one in. Um, let's get Mark chapter 3, I think. You go down. It says, um... Mark chapter 3 verse 24 and if a kingdom be divided against itself that kingdom cannot stand okay and the people are divided in, in America man but Yahweh Shemeshah said he came to bring division that's why America is going to fall man it says and if a house be divided against itself that house cannot stand they set up in Rome they had plebeians and patricians it's just like Republicans and Democrats so when you set America up you set America up already to be divided 50-50. Okay? And that's 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 a stupid way to rule. And if Satan rises up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but he have an end. So, you know, by y'all being divided, this is your eventual end. You know, and this is why the government is going to come down with great wrath because, you know, they're not going to have any other choice in their mind, which eventually is going to happen. I just got that scripture. You know, in Second Ezra chapter 15, which could potentially inspire acts of violence, the bulletin stated, according to the DHS, misinformation could result in mass casualty attacks. You know, and come on, man, you know, that you know, they're going to do that. False flag, man. It says it listed unsubstantiated, unsubstantiated claims about an election fraud as the two main sources of misinformation. This is this is them going against the right. You know, um, Republicans. Grievances associated with these themes inspired violence, extremist attacks during 2021. The bulletin stated, but didn't specify. You know, so I don't really, I don't really need to read no more. You know, it's just this is prophecy, man. Okay, so let's get straight into the scriptures. This is Galatians 4 and 16, and I did. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? And that's a yes, man. You know, in their minds. You know, am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Because the truth is basically an act of war when somebody rules with lies and deception. You know what I'm saying? And that's how that's how they rule with lies and deception. It's you know, you go to Second Thessalonians, you know, too. I'm gonna just get this scripture real quick. It says, um, um, and then shall the wicked be revealed, who the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and that's for the, the consume with the spirit of it. That's people telling the truth. Okay. And that's in their minds misinformation. Okay. And shall destroy it with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. With all power and signs and lying wonders. So this is how they rule. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Because they receive not the love of the truth. That they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them a strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. So. They rule with lies and deception. So telling the truth is basically an act of war. Okay. This is a second Ezra chapter six, verse 28. And as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome and the truth, which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. You know, the biggest truth in the end days is blacks, Latinos and Native Americans are the real Israelites. Okay. That's the biggest one right there. You know, and that uh, Christianity is a lie, and the Bible is only for those people, point blank, period. You know, this is John chapter 8, verse 32, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, okay? Because once you know the truth, man, you don't rely on these people anymore. You separate yourself, separate means holy, holy means separate, you know, so, and they got a big problem with that, you know? This is Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. How would this How would this happen? Basically through the internet. 
you know, because Yahweh Shemesha has woke up, you know, a mass numbers of people through the internet. You know, a lot of a lot of people come into the realization of knowing who they are. You know what I'm saying? And basically, to them, that's the act of war because, you know, they rule with lies and deception. And if you know the truth, they can't rule anymore. This is uh, Psalms 19. It says, The heavens declare the glory of Yahweh Shemeshah, and the firmament show of his handiwork. Day unto day utter a speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. There is no speech nor language where the voice is not heard. Their line is gone throughout all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. And them have you set a tabernacle of the sun. This is talking about the internet. Because it says their lines go out through all the earth. You know, internet cables in the ocean. Let's look this up. Internet cables in the ocean. You know, uh, look at this, man. So through the internet, you have Bashamasha has basically, um, you know, woke up who he wanted to wake up through the internet. And basically waking up is an act of war. Because people who wake up to the truth realize that these people rule in lies with lies and deception. Basically what which comes from that is not trusting these people anymore and not relying on these people anymore. Okay, and they got a big problem with that because they're establishing the NWO, which they're trying to get everybody in that, okay, to worship, you know, basically Satan. They want everybody to come into that. And if you have people that's not down with it, then basically they're going to call you a terrorist. Okay? And basically they're just, you know, with what they're doing, they're basically going to ramp up these... Like it says, these mass casualty attacks and then they're going to blame them on particular groups. False flags, basically. You know, point blank period. This is Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come. So waking up in the end days basically coincides with the end coming. You know what I'm saying? Point blank period. You know, so I want to get some other scriptures, you know. Um, let's go to, you know, Jeremiah 30, because like I said, these people are going to come down with great wrath. Okay. They're, they're, it's eventually going to come to this stuff's not working anymore. We got to come down upon these people. This is Jeremiah 37 at last for that day is great. So that none is like it. This is talking about when all this propaganda and all this stuff doesn't work that they're doing, they're just eventually going to come down hard upon the people it says at last for that day is great so that none is like it it is even a time of jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it you know we're gonna be saved out of it man but jacob's trouble is gonna be a big deal man okay and how about some said it's gonna be worse than you know basically slavery man this is uh matthews 24 and 21 for then shall great trib for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be, you know, it's going to be one of those, uh, it's going to be a hectic time, you know, that's why you have some shots preparing this now, this is Daniel's 12, and at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to the same time, and at that time, that people shall be delivered, everyone that is found written in the book. So they're going to come down with great trouble. Yahweh Shemesha is going to protect us. Okay. But even then, you know, some brothers are going to be martyrs. Some brothers are going to not be martyrs. So, you know, this depends on what Yahweh Shemesha has written out for you. You know, um, go to Revelations 2 and 10. It says, Fear none of those things which you shall suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that you may be tried. You shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So this is talking about the end days, man. You know, because they're eventually going to put people in jail for trying to speak out. You know what I'm saying? And it just is what it is, you know. This is uh, Revelations 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. See, when people wake up to the truth, you got a short time to rule. And that short time, you only got a short time to basically get people back in line. They got to do it by force. 
So basically, they got to come up with this whole, all these lies and deception to make you enemy number one. Okay? And that's what it says in the scriptures that they're going to do. They're going to lie, lie, lie. On the prophets. Okay? This is First Peter 4. In uh, 14, it says, If ye be reproached for the name of Hamashiach, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and God resteth upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. So, on our part, Yahweh is glorified. On their part, he is evil.